So let's say we have the speaker producing sound. What would happen if we stood right here? We stood right here listening to the sound. We would hear sound with a very high intensity, maybe intensity of 100 watts per meter squared. However, what would happen if we stood here, maybe a little farther back listening to the sound? Here we would hear sound with an intensity of maybe 10 watts per meter squared, a lower intensity sound because we're farther away. And if we were standing all the way back here listening to the sound, here we would hear sound with a very low intensity, maybe intensity of one watts per meter squared. So we know the farther we stand away, the lower intensity sound we would hear. And if we were really close, we would hear sound with a very loud intensity, a very large intensity. So that makes sense. That's consistent with our everyday observation. But something important to realize is intensity is not equal to loudness. They're related as the intensity of a sound increases, the loudness of the sound increases, but they're not identical. And if you're interested, I have a link below on my video on decibels and how that relates to intensity. So we know the closer we stand, the louder, the, the larger the intensity of the sound. And we know the farther we stand, the sound here would have a very low intensity. But what's going on? Why does the intensity of the sound decrease as we go farther away? Well, first we need to define what is intensity? What does it mean if we stand right here and the intensity of the sound has an intensity of one watts per meter squared? Well, that means if you're we standing at this distance, so really at any point at this distance, th this distance away at any point, if we were to, for example, at this point, at this distance away, and if we were to, if we have an intensity of sound of one watts per meter squared, that means if you were to take a meter squared, so one meter by one meter, so one meter squared area, one joules of energy would cross per second in this one meter squared area. And that would give us an intensity of one watts per meter squared. One joules of energy crosses per second in this one meter squared area. So really, intensity is just related to the energy, the energy of the sound here. If the sound here has an intensity of 1 watts per meter squared, that tells us about the energy of the sound. And intensity tells us about the energy per unit area. That's what intensity is. So really, at the end of the day, intensity is just related to the energy of the sound here. If we were standing right here listening to the sound, the sound would have a, la a large amount of energy per unit area. Here, the sound would have a lower energy per unit area, per meter squared. So that's what's going on with intensity. So the way I like to think about this is I like to imagine the speaker and let's say the speaker produces sound with a hundred watts of, of, of power. So this speaker is producing sound with 100 watts of power. So we know that that sound is going to travel in all directions, in all directions, and it's going to go upward and it's going to go downward. And that sound is really going to travel as a sphere. First, it's, there's going to be a sphere of sound here. Then there's going to be a sphere of sound here. Then a sphere of sound here. So, so we're producing that sound. And we said right here, the intensity of the sound is 100 watts per meter squared. And again, the way I like to think about this is I like to think of conservation of energy. So if this speaker is producing sound with 100 watts. Then we're going to have 100 watts of sound spread out throughout this entire surface area of the sphere. So let's say the sphere here at this distance, let's say the sphere is one meters cubed of surface area. So that 100 watts of energy that was produced, of, of sound that was produced, is spread out throughout this one meter squared surface area. And that gives us our intensity. We have how much energy there was, the, the, the power of the sound, and we see how much surface area it spread out through. It spread out through one meter squared of surface area. And now knowing that, that gives us the intensity of the sound. So that's how we find the intensity of the sound. But we know as time goes on, that sound's going to travel in all directions. And as it travels, we know that sphere's going to get larger. We know that sphere's going to get larger. So as that sphere gets larger, we have a larger surface area of the sphere. So maybe now the sphere here has a surface area of 10 meters squared. The surface area has increased. But again, I like to think of conservation of energy. The energy is still 100 watts. If this, this speaker produced sound with 100 watts, we know here it had 100 watts spread out throughout this surface area. But here it still has 100 watts of, of power, essentially, spread out throughout a larger surface area. So because we have the same amount of wattage, the same amount of area throughout a larger surface area, 
the intensity has decreased because that same amount of, of energy is spread out throughout a larger surface area. That same amount of energy is essentially diluted throughout a larger surface area. So that's why we have a weaker intensity. That's why we have a weaker intensity because remember this intensity was essentially the energy per unit area. So because that same amount of energy spread out throughout a larger surface area, if we were to take the intensity here, there's less energy per unit area. Then again, this sound's going to keep on traveling. It's going to keep on traveling in all directions, and eventually that sound's going to get all the way here. So now that sound's going to create a really large surface area of sound. Maybe now the surface area of sound all the way out here creates sound with a surface area of 100 meters squared. But again, it's the same amount of energy. It's still 100 watts. But now we say have that same 100 watts spread out a really large surface area, spread out through a really large surface area. So we still have the same amount of wattage, the same amount of energy, but now it's spread out throughout a larger surface area, a really large surface area. So now we have a very low intensity. Now the sound here has a very low intensity, a very small amount of energy per unit area because that energy spread out. It's been diluted throughout this large surface area. So per unit area, there's less energy because it's been spread out. So that's the way I like to think about intensity and why intensity decreases the farther you get away. Because again, I like to think of conservation of energy, but that energy spread out throughout a larger surface area, so there's a lot smaller intensity. So, so that's what's going on. But really, it's actually a little more complex because there's something referred to as attenuation. So really, we, we said here there's 100 watts of energy spread out throughout this surface area. But then we said it's that same amount of 100 watts of energy spread out through a larger surface area, then the same amount of surface, uh, uh, same amount of energy now spread out through a really large surface area. But in fact, it's actually not going to be the same amount of energy. There's going to be some resistive forces due, due, to, due to this air pr providing those frictional resistive forces. So due to those resistive forces, it's actually going to be a little less. Maybe here is actually really just 99 watts. And then maybe here is maybe 98 watts spread out through a large surface area. So really, you have to keep in mind that attenuation. So yeah, the intensity is going to decrease regardless because that energy spread out throughout a larger surface area. But there's also attenuation going on where it, it's actually really, it's not going to be the same 100 watts because some of it's going to be lost due to the resistive forces of the air. So really, here there's 100 watts of, of energy spread out through this surface area. But here, there's a little less energy spread out through a larger surface area. Because again, there are, there are those resistive forces. There's that attenuation. So those are the two reasons why intensity decreases the farther you get away. 